Tonight on News 12, more Yonkers students not making the grade on the latest state math tests. There are a number of variables that are still floating around, uh, and that's why we're coming down to the 11th hour. Still no agreement on money from Ridge Hill. The controversial development now holding up the Yonkers city budget. I had to keep on pulling it up, and I was afraid I was going to trip. And why some giant graduation gowns had a group of fifth graders here at Yonkers watching their step today. Plus, some more thunderstorms rolling through all next on News 12 Westchester. The Yonkers edition starts right now. You are watching News 12 Westchester, serving Westchester and the Hudson Valley. Now, the Yonkers edition. The Yonkers students fall short on state math exams. Hello, I'm Suzanne Colucci, and tonight for Janine Rose. And I'm Brian Connie Bear. The latest scores were down slightly, but there were some increases in Yonkers middle schools. And these results come just two weeks after English test scores dropped by 5% across the district. News 12 education reporter Grace Noon is in the newsroom. She's got more for us tonight. Grace. Well, Brian, compared to the other big five school districts in New York State, Yonkers students scored higher than every district except New York City. But even though many individual schools showed an increase in performance, there wasn't a significant jump ahead in those scores. We want our students to achieve. We want them to achieve at the 80% or 90% level. But it's a process. You know, and it's one step at a time. And it looks like that process is just beginning in the Yonkers public schools. Only 52% of students in the third through eighth grade met the state standards on the math exams they took back in March. That's lower than the state average. And that's down by less than a percentage point than last year. School superintendent Bernard Parazio says he's not pleased, but he's not giving up either. We have a math grant where our teachers in elementary and middle school are receiving over 60 hours of professional staff development. We're working with our consultants. Even English scores dropped about 5% compared to the previous year. But some Yonkers parents say one test doesn't represent a whole school system. Tests need to be specific to the particular type of child and the particular types of classes and where they are, you know, geographically. Both of my boys have been in Yonkers um, Public School and they both have done very well in the Yonkers District. As far as other kids, I don't know. In Mount Vernon, another high needs district, about 54% of the students met the grade. But at Williams Elementary School, there was a significant increase credited to hard work. It's showing in the data. So I feel very encouraged and enthused that there are there's some significant improvements. We're hoping to even do better next year and the following years to come. Going forward around the county, principals are taking a closer look at the numbers, making sure they add up next time around. Educators say the students were tested on a more difficult curriculum this year, and in some schools across the county, including Yonkers, middle school scores were on the rise. So some good news and some bad news out there, Grace. All right, thank you very much.